Now to sport and it's heartache once more for Scotland who failed to qualify for Euro 2016 after drawing 2-0 with Poland at Hampden Park last night. We're now joined by our sports cor correspondent Lewis Kemp with some more on the story. Lewis, plain and simply, what went wrong? Well I'm currently standing outside Hampden Park as you can see behind me. Um, it was a home of uh, last night's Last night's draw with Poland, obviously it was a late equaliser. If Scotland don't concede this late equaliser, Scotland could have been, there's some chance of qualification, the chances were still there. But listen, there were a lot of other factors as to why Scotland didn't qualify for this tournament. Uh, many will argue that uh, qualification hopes were over after they lost to Georgia 2-0 uh, last month. You could also argue that Ireland and Poland, who were Scotland's group rivals in the group, uh, they got a result off of Germany and many people didn't expect that uh, and Scotland obviously didn't get, didn't get anything off of Germany um, but no, it was it was heartache for Scotland um, but th the point is this if Scotland beat Germany oh sorry ah, if Scotland beat um, Georgia and they beat oh, no, 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 no. Right. if Scotland get three points against Georgia and they get three points against Poland they go through, it's as simple as that and the fact is they didn't do that so where does Scotland go from here? It's hard to say. Well, in the short term, obviously, there's this game against Gibraltar on Sunday, but in the long term, you know, there's doubts over Gordon Strachan, and the manager's future. His contract is up next week. But for Scotland, you know, it's just heartbreaking. This thing happens so many times. This is if this will be almost 20 years because the next obviously the next major tournament is in 2018, um, and that will be obviously 20 years until Scotland actually qualify for that. You know, there's a, there's a number of reasons why it's happened, but the fact is it's happened. Nine tournaments that we haven't qualified for, and even the fact that teams from the, from the home nations, the likes of Northern Ireland, the likes of Wales, they've all qualified and Scotland haven't. It's, it's heartbreaking and it is really one of the darkest days in Scottish football history. Okay, thanks to Lewis Kemp there at Hampden Park.